Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is just a quick vlog, me talking about my future leading into 2021 here on YouTube. I know I talked about that already in a recent stream I did from my phone, if you remember a few weeks back, but I want to do an update on those things. I promised Camp Survivor that I would be on stream every time from starting in January. I would be on face cam every time. There are going to be a few exceptions to that. Um, when I do chill streams, like when I let the, let the CPU play, like I do with Capcom versus SNK2 or Ultra Street Fighter 4, whatever, I won't be on cam because those chill streams is where I'm not playing the game and I might be multitasking, playing my apartment, which is what I really need to do. And all that good stuff, you know, multitasking in the background, be on the phone, whatever. And while still watching the chat and still talking with you guys when I can in the stream. So for sure streams, I won't be on camera. But if I'm sitting down actually playing a game, I will be. I've also been thinking about multi-streaming again, but I probably won't do that. Um, I'm probably just going to stick with YouTube and just do the projects that I've been planning to do other than streaming. The Shut Up and Play series, which is where I just play a video game, do raw footage of, no commentary or anything, and upload it, and anybody can use it for the Let's Plays if they want. Um, the Let's Check Out series, which is the first impression review of a game. The Long Time No Play series, where I play a game that I haven't played in forever. Anything else um, is going to vary, because I also want to start doing premieres again, except... Um, I've done this a little bit a while back where I would premiere I'll be in this format talking to you guys on cam and also in watching the chat room in the in the, uh, the premiere and just watching some of my old stuff just for old time's sake whether it be the ROM War videos or the S2K videos I think that'd be fun to do to premiere those every once in a while in 2021 there's really no telling what I'm going to be able to do because I, that's why I don't have a set schedule sometimes I'll schedule certain streams but as far as like a consistent Monday Wednesday and Friday stream every week that just can't happen I might get a second job pretty soon I'm going to get married in January and once I get married my free time to do these streams and videos is going to dwindle so it's going to be real hard to know exactly when I'm going to be do, doing things in January. I might only be streaming one day a week starting in January. It may dedicate one day a week to my video game projects, whether it be videos on this channel, streams, or my Let's Play series on the S2K channel. And so I'm very optimistic about 2021, but you might not see that much of me. And the next time I take a vacation, like when I go on my honeymoon, I'm going to have some content for you guys uploaded and, and schedule those uploads to go live when I'm away from YouTube for a while so that you can have something to hold you over until I get back to doing live streams or whatever. But yeah, I've been very optimistic about this next year. And even if I don't make any money doing this or don't ever get monetized, this is still a fun hobby I like to do. And I, I know I set a goal for myself to get monetized, but honestly, at this point, I mean, if I do get monetized, if I get those 4,000 watch time hours, man, that's great. If not, it doesn't matter because I still like to do this for fun more than anything. And I've been doing a lot of research. I went to this website called streamscheme.com. They have a lot of useful information, a lot of tips and strategies on how to grow your streams. It also talks about not burning yourself out because... You may think you want to stream all day, every day for the rest of your life, but you don't. There are times where I don't want to stream. I'll have plans to stream, and then I'm like, oh, i got to stream tonight. And it's not because I hate streaming, but I might have had a bad day. I might not be feeling good. I might be tired from work. I have a full-time job in the mornings, leading until like 3 or 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And that's one of the reasons why I don't schedule my streams all the time. I don't mean to contradict myself. But I did say I'm not going to stream or schedule my streams again, except if it's a very, very special occasion or if it's a charity stream. But sometimes I can't help myself. If it's a game or a stream I really want to do and that I'm really looking forward to, I'm going to schedule it like Ocarina of Time coming up. Street Fighter 2 Special ECW Edition. I want to, to stream that. And so I, I scheduled it. And so... I won't have a consistent schedule every week, but within that week, 
I'll look at what days I may have free time and be like, I really want to stream that game. And I really look forward to that particular stream, so I think I'm going to go ahead and schedule that. And I hate to postpone the streams, but sometimes that happens, that's life. And once I get married, I want to spend time with my wife, and we're going to be busy. On top of that, working, all that stuff, etc. I mean, for those of you who are married, you know what that's like. I mean, Mega Dan is married, and he has kids. And he works like five, six days a week. He can't be live streaming as much as he would like. I wish I could stream as much as I would like. Can't do it. And even if I had all the free time in the world, I wouldn't want to stream all day, every day anyway. I want to do other things outside of streaming. You can get burned out pretty quick on live streaming if you do it too much, even if it is your living. So I want this to, I kind of treat this as a business and a hobby at the same time. There's that healthy mixture. Zombie said this. He likes to treat this as a hobby, but also kind of like a, a job at the same time. Um, and I don't get paid to do this, obviously, with the exception of an, the occasional donation or merchandise sales or whatever that I may get. Um, but I still enjoy doing this as a hobby. And 2020, it's been a rough year for pretty much all of us. But as far as my content on YouTube in particular, it's still been going pretty good. 2019, I met a lot of cool people. 2020, I met even more cool people. And I'll be doing another video on New Year's Eve talking about the rest of my year. I want to save that for the New Year's Eve video, or New Year's video, which will be uploaded New Year's Eve. And also in that New Year's Eve video, I'll have a made up mind of what I'm going to do on this channel, and the SC2K channel as well. And so I encourage you guys to go check out the SC2K channel if you have not yet. Links in the description box. And me and Mega Dan plan to do some commentary again on that channel pretty soon for the Metal Gear Solid series and I also have a special guest in part 4 of Metal Gear Solid I don't want to spoil that right now but uh, this person's a cool dude who's also an awesome streamer he's going to be making his SCTK debut so stay tuned for that hopefully in the next week or so part 4 of Metal Gear Solid will be uploaded onto the SCTK channel alright guys that's pretty much all I have for you thanks a lot for listening and watching for the rest of this year I'm going to do nothing but mainly stream then in January is when I plan to start doing those other video projects, if time permits. So stay tuned, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, great rest of, great rest of the year. And let's hope 2021 will be, will be the year of ECW. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.